boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And boom. what's going on, everybody? This is Cody. Max. Zach. And you are listening to the Talk It Off Podcast. Podcast. We're back. Yo, we nailed it. That, that felt time. really good that time. Yeah. First take. I, I forgot we were going to do a, a new song the next time. Oh, yeah. So I did Dancing with the Devil you that did. time. Boom, <laughs> boom, boom. Uh, I think it's it going to be fun to see which songs I can come up with every single time. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean, I, I'm assuming we're gonna do a ton of episodes, so we're gonna. And go then what happens when, when we run out of ours? Yeah, I'm is it to... is it copywritten? If you're just humming along to it, probably is. Yeah, huh? dude, they're so good with it. Now they'll copy strike us so fast. Okay, yeah, they'll we'll like, just keep it within the wheelhouse. Uh, then. You played Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> dun, <laughs> dun, dun, oh, careful, dun, careful, stop, careful! Stop, stop dude. <laughs> yeah. Also, apparently, in like the first thirty seconds, you can't say any no no words like the f f word. Oh. Uh, because Finger. YouTube will, uh, YouTube will not let you monetize it. You'll get the the yellow. They only have symbol. so much time to screen stuff. They're like, All right, I'll just check out the first thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, after thirty seconds, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I believe so. I think the first like thirty seconds, or maybe it's like the first minute, is what's important. How long? So, is, how long have we been on? Yeah, drop the biggest. Um, I think I think we're about ready. Is it about time? Is it time? Oh, here we go. Let's get him out. Fuck, fuck shit! Fuck! 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 I think you can say fart. Can you say fart? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody's it got like, newly added. You missed the you missed the blip about it. How how would somebody like bleep out? The, would somebody ever bleep out the word fart? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like on the Disney Channel you the couldn't Disney say fart. Wait, you think they would? No, but, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they just wouldn't say it. It's probably the context. If They're it's not literal fart. Ew, Jessica, you. <laughs> they, they bleep the fart with a soundbite of an actual fart, and yeah. somehow that's okay. <laughs> Wasn't that thing about like the South Park standards practices? If you're saying shit, but if it's a literal form of shit, then it. it I think it's, it's okay. I thought yeah. it wasn't okay. No, yeah. it is okay. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's okay. I have no idea. Dude, uh, that that must be a crazy job just being standards and practices for different shows. Yeah. Oh, the person that has to like be the runner, the runner for shows, like to decide what's going to be allowed to say and what's yeah. not, and then you have to work on South Park. Oh yeah, dude. I heard a rumor. Buckle up. <laughs> I heard a rumor that for the movie they uh, sent they sent a cut and it got reviewed and they said it was NC or they said it was NC seventeen and they need to remove this certain amount of things to make it R and they got it back and they added more or kept it the no, same. No, they add they kept they added more. That's why it's yeah. bigger, longer. Yeah, and, and then I guess they just didn't watch it again. Yeah, and like okay, it's R now. First yeah. thirty seconds, incredible. They were the first thirty seconds of the movie. They kept it the same. First thirty seconds, <laughs> that's all you have to do. We know the loophole. Now they are screening the entire episodes. Yeah, yeah. More viewers. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> They'll be our first viewer. That's uh, why we're going to now show you mm-hmm. all of Finding Nemo in its entirety. <laughs> yep. Dude, okay. we just <laughs> <laughs> we cut. <laughs> that's the pod. <laughs> it's a podcast. YouTube's getting to watch us watch it. Yeah. There's no audio. Dude, I saw it was so genius. Okay, so there was a, a pay per view fight, and yeah. obviously you can't stream it on Instagram or anything like that. So a guy was what was Instagram uh, lived himself with sunglasses on, oh. so you could watch it from the reflection of his sunglasses. Hilarious. I I saw something like that recently. I'm a big Tim and Eric fan. Okay, and uh, they did their they did a watch along for New Year's of their billion dollar movie, and I was really interested just to understand their sense of humor. And uh, I couldn't find it anywhere. And I looked on YouTube and I saw a guy that did a reaction video. And his reaction video is a loop of him for 15 seconds that every now and then goes, oh, that's how they did that. <laughs> <laughs> and it has nothing. That there would be times when nothing's happening. It goes, oh, that's how. And it was the most brilliant thing I've ever seen in my life. I was really impressed with that. I really like that. Um, it was your birthday recently. It, it was. was. It was. How do you feel? Uh, the fucking same. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to try to think of something funny, but no, I'm this, I'm the same person that you've yeah. always known. After you turn like, w- once you become like 21. Yeah. It's not, it's not much more fun after that. Yeah. 22 is the first time you're like, oh, oh, shit's getting real. Oh, this is, uh, what's my next uh, milestone? 25. Yeah. You Better can, car insurance. Yeah. Rent, you can rent a car now. Domestic purchases. <laughs> Here I come. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the quarter life crisis is a very real thing. Oh, it is yeah. crazy. It's so funny though, because like 
it's depending on who you're talking to. Because if you talk to somebody who's younger and you're like, yeah, I'm turning 25, like, oh, you're fucking old. Yeah. But then if you talk to somebody who's like well, older 25, like, you know, your parents' age or something, like, oh, I'm really nervous about turning 25, 25 like, cool, I'm 60. I'm so, convinced yeah. it's, it's as long as they're 10 years older than you. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll, you'll be in an Uber ride and you'll be like, yeah, um, yeah, like, like, how old are you? Like, oh, I'm 30. And they'll be like, oh, youngin'. Yeah. And like, how old are you? I'm 30. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And it's always like, for some reason, it's one of those things where they always have to like one up you like, mm-hmm. oh, wait until wait until you're uh, 38. Then that's when shit really hits you. Like yeah. something very specific. Yeah. I see that done a lot with like children too. Mm-hmm. Like parents will tell other parents, they'll be like, oh, oh, wait, wait for the terrible twos. Like, dude, maybe you're just a shitty dad. Yeah. Also- <laughs> It's it's all terrible. They're babies and they're <laughs> yeah. they're gonna scream and cry. They're loud. I yeah. didn't I didn't tell you guys about. I think I have the worst luck whenever I'm flying alone as far as circumstances and conditions. Like I, I on my way back, I I got to see my family for for the holidays for like uh, like a few days, mm-hmm. and I came back and I swear to you, it was like they were holding a contest for how many babies can we aggravate <laughs> before this plane begins and put them all near each other. And I had like noise canceling headphones on bleeding through yeah. like just the loudest I've ever heard a baby scream and luckily enough one was behind me kicking the chair and you Love know you that. do the move so like I'm not a very confrontational person of right? course if I'm like if it comes up and we can talk about it sure we'll be like hey man um, now that we're having a constructive conversation blah um, that's not the circumstance here there's a there's a parent behind me who's obviously over this kid just being <laughs> as energetic and they've hit their threshold obviously being over being their parent exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh my god like there's they've they've reached their threshold of like wanting to care for the rest of this flight and so what you do at least my move is I do the right shoulder I was in the aisle seat so I did mm-hmm. the right shoulder turn I didn't fully turn it wasn't a 180 yeah. it was a about a 45 degree angle like hopefully hoping that the parent would see and go oh I'll say something did not do a thing. <laughs> Did not do a damn of thing. Of course not. That kid was in control there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's, yeah, it's, there's, there's, uh, 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 being around uh, children at all is a nightmare, but in <laughs> a tiny little metal box, it is. Yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah. It's, it's never nightmare. great. It's a nightmare. It is. True. Uh, what were you, oh, yeah, your birthday. <laughs> I don't know how we got so sidetracked. We always do, though. Oh, yeah. We started with birthday and then airplanes and babies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we came here. Yes. And we played some board games I was fortunate together. enough to have my, my boys be able to come over. It was like the, the smallest thing ever, which was perfect. We played some yeah. board games, which has always been like our favorite mm-hmm. way. Yeah. We're not like, we don't, it, it, even if everything was open, we don't really go out. Yeah. And if we do, we, we're like, we're hyping ourselves like, it's going to be fun. No, yeah. this time will be different. And then it's just, there's a place out here, I won't, I won't name it, that everyone would frequent a lot when things were open. And all it is is you pay $18 to drink well vodka or yeah. anything, yep. which if is if uh, it's absurd. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if you know your prices, if you're able to go out and drink, but that's one thing. Then it's also pitch black. Yep. yep. It's loud. You cannot speak yeah. or yeah. see. They have found a way to take away all of your senses <laughs> and including your sense of reason. Yeah. And you're and people are like, this is where I need to be yeah. on the weekend. And it's like a definite fire hazard. They, oh, they oh, like yeah. They yeah. hack the place to the brim with people. Like, you can't even fucking move without bumping into somebody. Mm -hmm. It's like... Not for us. It's a (laughs) full-blown nightmare. I remember the first time when we moved to L.A. and we went to that bar, and I ordered a drink, uh, and I was like, yeah, I'll just get a Jack and Diet. And it was like, all right, cool, that'll be $18. And I was like, I ordered one. (laughs) (laughs) Not around for the fucking bar. I said, I said, I didn't own the rights to Jack Daniels. (laughs) We always talk about there's this dive bar back in, in Florida we would go to, um, actually, shout out Quick Red Fox because I don't oh, even yeah. know if they're still around. I have anymore. merch. You, I, do you really? <laughs> I have Quick Red Fox. You're merch. a little. You're a little uh, uh, Quick Red Fox. Do we have oh, some yeah. stories from that place, man? It, it, I remember we we moved out here, went back to Florida. We were all together, yeah. and um, I remember I bought shots for people. Mm-hmm. I I got like a bucket of beers. I had yeah. all this stuff. My my tab at the end of the night was thirty five dollars. Yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous. It's yeah. crazy to like. I mean, obviously, living in Los Angeles is, has been incredible, but there are certain things that I didn't realize that I was going to miss. Yeah, obviously, cheap drinks. Yeah, uh, an empty parking lot. Oh, oh ample parking dude. is like it's a. I, I dream I know. About. access to a Chili's. Oh, <laughs> dude. dude! I say access because <laughs> they, we have general access, but when you put all the factors together, we're like all right, I can drive forty five minutes in crazy traffic, get to a Chili's. And then once you're there, good luck finding parking, and then get your food, and then you know what you have to do to get home. Yeah. yeah. It's like, ugh. 
That's insane to think about how much this place like uh, like ruins you too. Like I, I I was I remember talking to my brother recently moved and I was talking to him about his new place and how much he's paying in rent and he has like a motherfucking mansion like three stories four bedrooms oh my god oh, three dude. baths yes it's so nice it's like it has its own little secluded area and he pays like five hundred dollars more than me yeah. a month I, I live in a 700 square foot apartment i, I just went to that recently <laughs> shay and i just moved because we needed more space like you've been to our place before this we were like shoulder to oh, shoulder it was basically a go. hotel room <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was. It was. It, I, I can't deny it. It hundred percent was. It got us by for when we needed to. Bellhop costume. <laughs> we were. We went to uh, see my family, and my sister has this amazing house, two stories with the, with the, my new niece, their daughter, obviously, and it's just it's just a dream. It's like a yeah. dream home, and I I don't know why I asked because I knew I was going to hate the the answer, but I asked how much you'd have to spend per month, and I found out. It was just a little bit more than what I was spending to live in that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we moved into here, and now we're officially spending more yep. than they're spending for their mm. fucking home. But you might home. see Brad Pitt. You yeah. might, you see, might him. see him. I haven't. But Maybe you might. Wahlberg. One time I saw. Actually, um, wait, what's the character uh, from The Office? Who uh, he's in accounting with Kevin and Angela. Oscar. Oscar. I saw him get Starbucks once. Worth it. Oh, totally nice. worth it. Worth it. Pays for yeah. everything. I actually did meet Brad Pitt. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, I did. Met I have him? a whole blog. I have a whole vlog about it on my YouTube channel. Met him. Met him. What's he Story like? Story time. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have, have, you know, like Hollywood Boulevard, like literally right up there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I did my first ever vlog. Okay. Uh, and I did. I did it about Hollywood. It is upsetting that you guys haven't watched it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're my friends. Yeah. But then, uh, you're my friends. It hurts. Uh, but I guess I'll tell it anyways. <laughs> it's been out for like a year and a half. But. Uh, <laughs> I uh, yeah I, I did my first ever vlog and I did Hollywood Boulevard and I ran into Brad Pitt, um, the real Brad Pitt. No, <laughs> <laughs> was I was a, gonna say there's a lot of uh... there was a wax statue of Brad, Pitt, <laughs> but I clickbaited it right. and I put myself in the thumbnail with Brad Pitt saying that I met him and people watched it for that. Let's and, try it on this one. Mm-hmm. Zach met Brad Pitt. Oh, that's what we're gonna make for the, that's the title of this episode, perhaps. Yeah, how Zach met Brad Pitt. Yeah, I like that. That also sounds like a weird, weird children's book. <laughs> How oh, Zach met Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. He went to the boulevard. <laughs> the end. Yeah, dude, that boulevard is insane. Oh, dude, it's so crazy. Oh, I got, I got to bring up something. So oh. one time, I was, I think I've told you guys this story, but I want other people to hear this because it's fantastic to me. Uh, I was playing flag football with some people a while back, and my friend Clayton was like, "Hey, we're, I mean, he's, he was in a league, a flag football league." And they were playing at Hollywood High School. I think that's the name of it. Right down the street from here. Mm-hmm. He goes, hey, will you fill in? And I did. I am not an athlete. I had fun, though. And after it was all over, Shane and I were like, we're hungry. Let's go get some food. And so we're like, well, we're by the boulevard. Let's go. Uh, let's get some hooters. Let's get some wings. Why did you have to say the beginning part about football? Why did you? Why couldn't you have just started you know what? the story? I, I've been told recently I give too much detail. Yeah. And I didn't understand it until this fucking moment. <laughs> okay. Yeah, totally unnecessary. I guess I wanted to paint the picture of why I'm in. Now I'm talking even too much. <laughs> Anyways, I went to go get wings at Hooters. This is how the story should have started. <laughs> okay. And then as we're walking in, this guy goes, um, hey, open mic night upstairs. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Back up. Yeah. Now I'm confused. Yeah. Were you playing football before? Why did he need to tell us that he was playing I football? I didn't need to say for, it. For the story, to talk about what he's going to talk about next, the football. The way I tell stories, I see it all in my head, and yeah. I, I pick the pertinent details, and apparently I'm bad at weeding out at least the beginning details. I, just, I was like, okay, this is going to be a football story. Uh, paying attention. Oh, he's leaving the football <laughs> Okay. It was like one of those three weeks early. <laughs> moments. I, like, I can't wait for. for well, you see, January back. 9th, 1989, I was born, and then so we we go there, and the guy says, "Open mic night upstairs." We're like, "Okay, that sounds amazing." Also, a little nervous. We go up there, and um, we're getting wings, and it's just all just terrible stand-up comedy to the point where it was just it, 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 it's just uncomfortable at times. Well, my favorite moment was – well, actually, let me first make it pertinent to this. Oh, my God. This is – I, now I'm, I'm overthinking everything. So my so to make it pertinent to this, Hollywood Boulevard, they have a guy that dresses up as the Joker. Yeah, yeah like one of the mascots. Yeah, yeah. He's not like – yeah, exactly. He dressed yeah. up like the Joker, like kind, of, kind of from the, the comic books. Okay. And I heard, up next is the Joker. And we're like, oh. what? And so then it's that guy in full Joker makeup <laughs> – and he does stand up all related to as if he's actually the Joker. He's like, God, I need this gig like I need a bullet through the head from a sniper. 
<laughs> Wait, and what? The Joker was that's the, that's the Joker's that's the Joker's thing. But like, it was also like uh, jokes about Batman and stuff. Uh, <laughs> totally <laughs> fell flat. But that was the one I remembered. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, but my favorite moment now that I'm here is that the guy was like, and up next is Cedric the impersonator. And from the back of the room, I heard someone go, oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm barely, wearing an I hate Cedric the impersonator shirt. He's like, yeah. ah. He's Apparently like, this guy frequent, they both frequent this place. He goes up there and his whole bit is he does a scenario oh. that he made up about his landlord coming down. He played all characters, oh. uh, needing rent. And he, there was no plot, beginning, middle, end. Just, I need you to pay rent. He goes, oh, no. And then he opened the door. And then I guess the guy that needed the rent was beating up him who didn't pay the rent. And then he threw his body onto the ground, stood up, no claps, walked off. You know what's crazy Jeez. is <laughs> that's the plot of the Joker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The new blockbuster hit, The Joker. The Joker? No, I, we're convinced Shay, when Shay and I were there, we didn't think much of it. And then when the movie Joker came out with Joaquin Phoenix, we're like, someone else that made that movie was there. Yeah. Yeah. Because it went bad. <laughs> um, I don't want to be the, the you know, bringer of bad news. Oh, no. That uh, changed. Oh, <laughs> we, uh, we are professionals yeah. and we do know what we're doing. That hey. was actually on purpose. Yeah. So. It said, I'm not going to lie, I checked it before. Setting said 10 hours yeah, before yeah. a screen Has saver. it really been 10 hours? Yeah. I think it's been about 10 hours. Huh. I have no idea why right that happened. Mm-hmm. But the whole time again. you were telling the end of that story, I was like, okay, that's not saying talk it off. <laughs> Branding is everything. <laughs> God damn I'll just hit like the volume button every now and then. But yeah, it is uh, uh, the 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 p- the people and characters that you meet, especially in Hollywood in particular. Yeah. I have this app called Citizen. Mm. It yeah. tells you about crimes going on, mm-hmm. and there has been for I don't know a year, maybe two years, uh, an update every week or so of man wielding machete. Yeah. Um, don't know who he is. If you're out there, if you're a watcher of Talk It Off, what's the deal, man? He's <laughs> sitting on the couch like, hey! he's got the machete. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> He's what so is it? Stoic. He never does anything. He just wields it. Just wields it. What's the point? What I'd is love wield? To know. Just shows it? Or is that brandishing? Brandish. They have brandishing, too. What's the difference between brandishing and wielding? Wielding, I think, is you're, you're meaning to do business. Uh, <laughs> brandish is just like, look at what yeah, I yeah, yeah. It's like a tease. Like, <laughs> he, he, like, he pulls it out of the sheath like machete. Yeah, and they're like, oh, citizen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's got citizen so good. <laughs> Dude, oh, I'm going to write this on citizen right now. Check it out. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> He's like running at them with the thing. <laughs> and then it changes to brandishing. <laughs> oh, that's wielding. Yeah. He's uh, wielding it. Oh, wait, he's brandishing it. No, he's wielding it. I see him wielding it. I just realized we got totally off topic again. Birthday. Yeah, uh, oh, it was dude. fun. How we do we play do some, that? I don't know. That, that's why this podcast will ever last more than in like 30 minutes. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We, uh, we played board games. That's where you're at. Yeah, for some reason we got jumped around. Oh, we started talking about a bar going yeah. out. But... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we played board games. Uh, we played Catan, yes. which yes. is a game that we've played a lot. Love Catan. I think it was in some of our tour updates a while mm-hmm, ago. Mm-hmm. But uh, we've been playing it a lot, and I got really good because we hadn't been hanging well, out not, for a while. Not that good. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. I was telling the I was telling the story, uh, but I uh, I've been playing Catan a lot on my phone. I got pretty good, and I was yeah. really excited to play because I haven't played with human beings because I've only been playing on human my beings f- on like my robots. phone. Human <laughs> beings. Uh, yeah, I've only been playing with robots. And uh, <laughs> when I when I was like, yeah, let's finally play, and we all got. You together. told me you were like doing research. I have been doing research. I watched YouTube videos. I did a bunch of shit that way unnecessary stuff, but you know, lockdown. So like, got to do something. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I was playing football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, uh, we played, and I almost won, but Max ended up pulling it out right. at the end. And yeah. I have done no research yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, so it's almost like everything I did was pointless, <laughs> and I wasted my time. The thing that I love about, uh, about this group in board games is we all love to do it. Yes. And yeah, every yeah. time we start, we're like, yeah, I guess I'll play. I guess I'll get into it. And yeah. we're all secretly very competitive. Oh, we're very the competitive. The second I start playing, I'm locked in. I'm like, oh, I have yeah. to do whatever I can to Oh, dude, I'm like a dirty people. politician. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know where we got it from was the game Munchkin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It started, because we went Munchkin, then Catan. If you're not familiar with that game, it is a game where you have to get to level 10, and but along the way, the only way you can get to level 10 is by completely decimating your, appo- your opponents. And you don't, like, build up your, your person. You, like, build up a character, but it takes 
hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so imagine working three hours for something, and then someone's like, it's all gone. Yeah, yeah. With one card, they're like, by the way, you actually lose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're and- about to win, too. You had a whole strategy in place, so it started there, and it just kind of like leaked into everything else. Yeah, I'm like a super competitive in those games too because I like I try and turn people against each other and shit. <laughs> that happened like, to me. You did I it know. to me in Catan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it works every it time. Worked. It worked. Dude, I well, I can we once played Catan like a couple months ago and I convinced everybody that you were a win. Yeah. It didn't even make sense. <laughs> you was like winning. You weren't winning. Cuz like yeah. you have to trade resources in the game to build things and I I was like who needs to trade this? And Zach goes don't do it. He's a witch. And they were like I'm not trading with you. You're a witch. <laughs> they didn't trade with me. Yeah. I couldn't move forward. And, and there's no witch in the game. <laughs> there's no witch. It's not even of that genre. Know, it's it literally, literally olden nothing. times. You're building settlements with yeah. ore and wood and sheep. It literally means nothing. And yeah. I convinced everybody to it go. Do not blown and worked. He's a witch. Yeah. He's he's just trying to trick you. <laughs> He's up to no like, good. What, what would he be trying to trick you up? <laughs> I guess to build more things against I, other people. I After a while, I just, I'm just like, I, I get to, I'm a witch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you won that game, too. Did I? Yeah, which is funny. We played that one. That was actually really funny because we had to like break up into uh, teams of two. And... Austin from Waterparks was there, and yeah. you have to you have to get resources to build certain things. And he teamed up with our friend Andrew, and Austin made it his personal goal to just only get sheep. Yeah. Yeah. He wanted to hoard the sheep, yeah. not to win. Not not to win. He just cared about hoarding yeah. the sheep. He hid them at the end of the game. He yeah. had like six in his hoodie. It was yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, he would. Not, he just kept pulling out sheep. <laughs> yeah, it was looking amazing. Pretty ridiculous. All right, what else do we have to talk about here? You got a new kitten. Yes. Cinnamon. I, I do have a new cat. Tell us about Cinnamon. Her name is Cinnamon. That's great. How did you, how did you get the name Cinnamon? Uh, she was actually already named that. We're uh, big believers in not changing animals' names after you adopt them because their names are not <laughs> yeah, Also, it's a cat. They don't yeah. know their name. You should have started that with a big like sniff through your nose like, mm, actually. Actually, I'm better than all of you. I adopted. I did not shop. Um, no, so... The adoption place that we got her from, they had already named her Cinnamon, and she was like s- four weeks old, five weeks old. Oh, okay. So it was like seemed like it just, it's a be, solid name. Yeah, it'd be weird to change her name, and she kind of looks like Cinnamon Spice. Mm. <sighs> Are baking toppings usually cat names, um, or is it just Cinnamon and Sprinkles, and that's it? <laughs> Dude, that's funny. Her <laughs> sister's name is Sprinkles. No, <laughs> no it is baking it is. enthusiast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of other ones. Paprika. Pe- paprika. paprika. That's a spice? <laughs> I would never name a cat. Paprika. Pepper. Yeah. So she's really Pepper. Good. I've seen a, I've met a, a cat, cat named Pepper. Pepper. It's, it's extremely, it's just exclusively spicy. It's only so we, <laughs> we had another cat. We've had a cat, Tux, for a long time. And people who, Say had. No, have. <laughs> okay. Have. Just wanted to be sure. He's still You're here. about He's to still get here. some <laughs> fucking news right now. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, we threw the old one out. You got to swap. That big boy's going nowhere. Um... For those, wow. yeah, for those who don't know Tux, he is a very much uh, you're petting me now type of cat. <laughs> there's no there's no negotiating in this. He walks up to you and sits on, and he's a big old cat mm-hmm. too. And he sits on you and he goes, "Now, <laughs> pet me now." And then uh, speaks English the whole nine yards. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like definitely uh, Italian and shitty. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> the way he talks, he's like, he's like oh, "Come on now, come it's on." It's like you just hate Italian people. <laughs> I did not mean to say that. Can you imagine? I just hate Italian. I don't people. know anyone that does. No. Um, but he uh <laughs> he basically he jumps he so he's always he lived with Pistol, your cat. Yeah. For a long time. Oh yeah. And they like tolerated each other, like kind of took got, a while, yeah. Yeah. I mean they could be in the same room, lay in the same bed, but they didn't want to be like close to each other. So we got cinnamon and we brought her home and she's in her carrier and we wanted to like let her come out of her carrier on her own time, but she wouldn't come out no matter what. So she's just like chilling in there, you know, being timid. Um, and we brought Tux out. We're like, well, I guess you're just going to have to meet Tux in your carrier. We're going to have to figure this out. And Tux comes down and he walks in and immediately he sees cinnamon and cinnamon beelines out of her crate right to Tux and is like, rubbing all over him and like oh. trying to jump on him and they became instantly best friends that's amazing and it's crazy because i've never seen cats because growing up like uh katie's like my girlfriend katie is like wants to make sure that her cats are like baby they're her babies mm-hmm. like, she wants to make sure everything's and like growing up it wasn't like that at all yeah. we had cats growing up and it was like oh we got a new cat put it in the living room figure, figure it the fuck out <laughs> i don't care throw it away you're self-sufficient um, yeah <laughs> you'll figure it out so like I'm, I'm like, it's like starting to wear on, wear off on me where I'm like, oh my God, Cinnamon, are you going to be okay? Yeah. Here we go. And they're, they're 
literally the best of friends. That's amazing. You know who's not? Loki and Mateo. Yeah. <laughs> I have two dogs. We've had Mateo for a while. He's eight years old. Yeah. And he's definitely not a puppy. We're looking at him right now, yeah. and he's just like he sits on a on a chair for a while and he just chills. Mateo's kind of like a cat in that sense. Yeah, he just yeah. he minds his own mm-hmm. business. Loki's a puppy. He's like eight months old. Yeah. yeah and yeah. just wants to hang out all the time. And they have this thing where if one of them has one toy, the other one will drop the toy that they were already satisfied with and then cr- try to go get that toy. <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. We're trying. Or we're going to get all comfortable. We'll be like, here's actually what you should do. I read this online. Yeah. But like, oh, it's those terrible twos. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. terrible twos. Yeah. Don't bring them on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> no, they're, they're like little by little, they're getting better. It's like mm-hmm. they actually cuddled last night. So that was oh. a step forward. Yeah, that was actually pretty nice. It's incredible. We, yeah. yeah, we actually, we lived with Mateo for a while, and he's a <laughs> wonderful roommate. Yeah, he, he is. is. You don't even notice he's there. Yeah, he's well, so... I, I noticed. But... <laughs> oh, yeah, he wanted to play with you all the Dude, time. yeah, he loved my room. And I think it's because he just, like, I would have, like, his chew toys and shit in my mm-hmm. room all the time. Mm-hmm. So he used to fling his whole entire <laughs> body against my door. Like, just, because he, like, his little scratches, he has such little paws that yeah. the scratches aren't enough. So he used to fling his whole ass body into mm-hmm. my door. Yeah. He's a resilient dog. Oh, yeah. So he, uh, he obviously loves his mom a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, when she would leave for work, he would sit in the exact same spot in the couch. We called it his sad spot. It <laughs> yeah, created an indent the size of him. <laughs> and he would just lay there all day until yeah. Shay came home. And then he was so excited. Sometimes Best roommate in the, the world. The Mateo sad spot. Yeah. I thought so, it was the funniest <laughs> thing ever. Sometimes me and you would pick him up and hold him and go, <laughs> One medium Mateo, like somebody ordered him at a restaurant. <laughs> My favorite thing that Mateo does is no matter no matter what time of day it is, if you wrap Sleep. him in a blanket, he will fall asleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, and he'll fight it. I didn't he, actually you think you were going eyes. there. Yeah, oh, yeah. His, you'll see his eyes. He's trying to fight it. He's like, I don't want to. <laughs> it's incredible. Sleep. Yeah, he, he, he's a full-blown burrito. You yeah. wrap him up, he's gone. <laughs> it's wild that we all have animals, too. Yeah? Yeah, we do. Have they? No, they haven't all been in the same room at the same time. Yet. That'd be great. Yeah, oh. That would be petted off. That's it, it would. It would. Mm-hmm. And Mateo would find the highest ground and remain. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I wonder who would win in a full-on like Spartan-style battle. I think Tux has lasted them a little bit longer than people would give him credit yeah. for. Yeah, it'd be Crash, right? Uh, mm, yeah. I think Crash would probably very end possible. Up uh, Mateo, uh, not Mateo. Loki is not aggressive at all. We took him yeah. to. The, the, he just he's just got his final splint off. For those who don't know, uh, our newest dog had to get two splints on both front paws because we took him to a dog park for 15 minutes. Yeah. His NBA future is really in question. <laughs> it's over. He point. can't play basketball anymore. The Career Derek ending. Rose of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Career ending. But he, there's no way he wouldn't last. He would go in all gung-ho, just like, oh, we're friends? And then he would just die. <laughs> and then Mateo would be second to last to live, I think, because you wouldn't find him. Right. And then when you found him, he'd just go, oh, <laughs> and then it'd just be... <laughs> he makes for anyone for anyone here who watches TikTok. He makes a noise that is so similar to the TikTok famous dog Pudgy. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. oh, they're almost. Ow, ow. How have I not seen this? It's ow, ow. they're very, very. Except Pudgy is like he's like darkest timeline Mateo. Yeah. It's like Mateo if he had like a like some some bad shit happen. Yeah. Oh him. no, um, I gotta Pudgy, see this. can I get an owl? <laughs> like, it's, it's incredible. Um, yeah. That is pretty wild. You know what? I think it's about time for our second episode ad read. Can no I believe it? It's like it's we've been trying. Obviously, it's only one episode, but mm-hmm. yeah. it's episode two, and we got another sponsor. Wow! Like it's not not just our. It's not you know what I mean. Like check it out. You know them. You love them. That's right. It's Set It Off Band again. Woo! We love these guys. Oh, wow. We are wow. so thankful for them for their continued support. Thanks for supporting the podcast. Set It Off. Uh, Set It Off has a brand new table book. Uh, out now that you can check out at setitoff.shop. When you're looking for your next extremely specific table book about the creation of Set It Off's newest album, Midnight, you can pick up their copy at setitoff.shop. 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 Yep. Thanks again to Set It Off Band. They are truly one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Also, make sure to use our promo code. We did this joke again because we don't have a real sponsor yet. At checkout to get some (laughs) nice savings. (laughs) Thanks, set it off. I Depressed just realized, sigh. Yeah. I just realized that I read it wrong, and I was like, damn it, dude. <laughs> well, that's where goes the sponsor, it. I guess. I wrote you wrote sponsor. it out, and you, and you couldn't get it. I wrote it wrong. <laughs> it, this has given me a lot of uh, uh, practice for when we do get sponsors. And I'm fucking um, serious. I'm ready. I'm yeah. ready. Give I'll, us a script. Dude, I'll sell anything. I will. <laughs> I <don't know>. Anything. <laughs> yeah. I'll t- I don't care. 
Dude, yeah. I'll I'll push it on anybody. Whatever it is. Underwear, push it. Underwear. Mm-hmm. Uh, quip, two underwears. <laughs> two underwears. <laughs> two underwears. Quip. The toothbrush people. Don't, Come don't on. do it for free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Can't have my, my drink up here. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Um, you, I hope that they'll send us money for that. That was a good one. That honestly was. Yeah. I think they will. They seem like pretty great guys. <laughs> Set it right. off? Well, that's what we're talking about, right? No, the, yeah. the toothbrush. Oh, quip. Yeah, them too. <laughs> you said it again. That you Fox. You now, you owe, now you owe us 15% of all of your profits. <laughs> that's how that uh, works, right? <laughs> get to quipping. <laughs> we just spend 30 minutes just naming brands. <laughs> just so it works out that way. Um, do we want to go on to the next topic? Let's do it. You had, you had a story in mind of a previous tour experience. Oh, yeah, because I want to start But doing... I didn't necessarily remember it, so I'm going to relive it through oh, you yeah, until okay. it clicks in my brain again. I want to start doing more... I want to start doing, like, tour stories. Yeah. Stuff that, like, shit that's happened to us on the road that we've thought is very funny and make it a whole, like, segment in, in the podcast. I know what will happen. It might not be just one story because I know the way we work is one story comes up and oh, then yeah. they all just flood back it in. It becomes, like, 50 in a row. Oh, yeah. Which is also great, yeah. but uh, I, I want to talk about one specifically about the time that we got our trailer stuck on a hill. Yeah. So we had a, a con, like a conversion van, and then actually no, I think it was our twelve passenger. That was our van. twelve passenger. So it was our twelve passenger van, and then we had a big trailer, like way too big of a trailer. Oh that, yeah, that <laughs> it was bigger than the van. Basically. It was it, it was definitely <laughs> bigger than the van. So it got. We were trying to go oh, like. Uh, through a like a ravine sort of thing while we were loading out, and our trailer got stuck in the ravine, and our van couldn't pull it out. And I remember we were on tour with with a bunch of bands, and all of those bands came and rushed, and they were like, "This right here is you have to handle this right now. This is how we're gonna do it. You gotta jack this part up. You gotta do this." And literally, our entire band was just in the in the van going, "Ha! Ah, there's so many people trying to fix this." Right now. <laughs> We didn't care at, at all. Yeah, we were like, dude. I remember one of the one of the band's guitar players was like pissed off. He was mm-hmm. like, I can't believe that this is happening right now. Like, we have to figure this out. We have to get this done. We're like, ah, we're stuck. Ah. <laughs> look, look, I was like pushed into the dirt like that. <laughs> <laughs> We've had so many issues where terrible things have happened that we've learned yeah. if you freak out about it and get yep. angry it's just going to make it worse yeah, so we've yeah. gotten to the point where it's like you have to make a joke dude, oh my god dude yeah. fart oh out the god. window yes fart out yeah. the window oh, also oh. It's, it's bad. we're professionals we're professionals we're professionals we're professionals but like so, for those who didn't know our, our screen thing went away again. so yeah <laughs> so we uh we got into a full ass Totaled. Yeah. Total car Across accident. Across the country. In, no, in, in Germany. Yeah, in Germany. Yeah. In Ger- we were in Germany, and we got into a car We were accident. on our way to the show in Munich on yeah. tour with Yellow Card. It was our first time yeah. overseas. Yeah, and it was like a sold-out show. It was going to be awesome. And we got into a huge car accident. Mm-hmm. And instead of being like, oh, shit, what are we going to do? How are we going to figure this out? We made up a scenario <laughs> about a boy band... That farts. <laughs> <laughs> and they become world, world renowned. They're world, huge. World renowned. And it was called like the Six American Boys. The Six yep, American the Six Boys. Six American Boys. Six American and the boys. hit song was Fart Out Fart Out's a Window. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. but it was since we were in Germany and we were hearing the accent all the time, yeah. we were doing like a German. We're doing our best version of it, which was terrible. We yeah. don't do a very good accent. Yeah. And we were, all we knew was to not say the to say Z. Yeah. It was Fart Out the Window. So we did Fart Out the Window. We made a whole entire like joke about do, do we do the song? Oh yeah, I mean yeah. Uh, if we want, it's pretty good. Fart that's a window. Fart that's a window. Fart that's a window. Fart that's a window. Fucking farting. That's a window. Fucking farting. That's a window. 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 Fart that's a. Oh my god. So we did that. <laughs> oh, and then and then remember that there's the other side bit about how we go on a talk show. Oh, and Oprah. They they, they, they Oprah. grill us, and one of the, one of the six American boys goes. I have actually never fought him. <laughs> and she goes, oh, there are only five <laughs> American boys. <laughs> For some reason, it's Oprah had a German accent too. <laughs> yeah. But we like, it was a, a potentially life-threatening situation. Oh, yeah. Like, this is all, we're still on the side of the road, yeah. smoke coming out of the vehicle. Yeah. It was icy roads. We got flung from our fucking seats. Yeah, yeah. I was bleeding. We, My were, head lucky, yeah. we were lucky yeah, to be you okay. Were, you, you were, were bleeding. Yeah. You were, and we're singing about just, farts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Full book. We had a dance and everything. You got to see it on YouTube if yeah. you want to see the dance. Dude, it oh was, my god! It was ridiculous too because I feel like most people in that situation would have been like, 
this is so fucked up. Like yeah. we're gonna miss the show. We're gonna lose money. We're gonna we're not gonna make Germany. We're not gonna make as many German fans. Yeah, like, all this shit. And all we did was sing about farting. And you know what? There is a there is a brighter end of this story. We still made it to the show. Couldn't yeah. perform, but we got to stand by our merch table and yeah. still meet everyone that was there to meet us. Yeah. So we still got to meet people, which is like a real nice ending to the story. Yeah. But- yeah. I remember selling CDs, trying to sell CDs, and be like, "We almost died today. <laughs> Buy our CD." <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this, but uh, speaking of like times that should have felt like the end of the world, but we're okay. Uh, so we were driving to Vegas and it's the middle of the desert in Nevada and our van breaks down. Yeah. The radiator. And, uh, yeah. So I was sleeping, right? I, f- I didn't know it was happening. And I woke up and it's like a thousand degrees in the van yeah. and I look out and I'm not kidding. There are literally vultures like in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Like there might've been, might as well been like a, a good, yeah, there might as well have been yeah. like that guitar slide and a hawk screech. Like it, was, <laughs> it was like that. And we, we had no tools to fix. I think a radiator cracked. Yeah. 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 And, uh, 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 Andrew, a friend of ours, uh, and luckily our, he knew about yeah, cars. Our TM at the time fixed it with, uh, Guitar tools, yeah. but yeah. like that very easily. If we didn't have them there, we would have been totally screwed. Yeah, it was fun. I started laughing as soon as you brought up the story because all I remember about it was that like it getting fixed. But our first stop was to a gas station where there was a urinal that was basically a fountain. Yeah, yeah, it was like an open like a fountain you see like in, in the lobby of a giant doctor's office. Yeah, it's you peed into it, and I thought that was the most amazing thing. And then oh, I went to Vegas. The last time I went to Vegas, I went to a gas station. It was the same gas station, <laughs> and I was like, aha! I was so excited. Oh. But yeah, we started so so during that time when we were about to die in the middle of the desert, yep. we did this thing. We were trying to make the, we take the most unflattering photo you could <laughs> oh, with yeah. your phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta teach him how. The trick is, uh, let me. I don't know if anyone has a phone. I got my phone. The trick is, you in, people always take the 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 can, the phone. The, excuse me. People always take the photo with the the camera lens right here. Watch on YouTube for the flip tutorial. Flip it around and you can get a nice angle. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it from here, but it no, is. No, dude, take the photo and we'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, yes, okay, yes. Hold on. And you got to create as many chins as possible. <laughs> it is. Are we all doing it? Oh, we're going to do it, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I know, I know. I almost don't want to do it. What just, this, this is the thumbnail. <laughs> But yeah, we so right in the middle of the desert. It's it's so. Is that hot. what we were doing? We have no it? air conditioning, almost no shade whatsoever, except the van, oh and that's God. what we were doing. And yeah, we were and crying, dude, laughing. I remember so hard. crying so hard, uh, laughing so fucking hard about trying to make the ugliest face possible. And I remember uh, Andrew, God bless his soul, he was so upset, like because he, he was a, the only one. That he had, was like, responsible, yeah. and we weren't <laughs> he was being responsible. And we we're just like, ha oh, ha, look how ugly our faces are, Andrew, Andrew. He's like. Sweating assholes, <laughs> dude. He uh, so so he obviously he was the only one of us that knew anything about cars. Yeah, and you know, obviously, you know, through the wear and tear, lots of things would happen. And there was a huge dent in our trailer yeah, one yeah. time because someone hit something, and there was nothing we could do about it. Yeah. So Andrew put a human band aid <laughs> on the dent, and then someone I forget who it was, but someone was walking uh like around, and, and Andrew didn't know anyone was around, and they just see him looking at the the band aid like. Shaking his head like yeah. it's not working. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's just not working. It's Andrew, not getting better. Uh, Andrew was always like trying to fix that that trailer. Dude, and- there's actually a story that in, that merges the trailer getting stuck and Andrew fixing a situation that I just immediately popped into my head. We were playing a show in Connecticut, yeah. and we had to back up our vehicle. Yeah. And we were we uh, none of us were doing it right. It was a really tight space. We were right by this pole. It was like we had to figure it out. One of the funniest things I ever heard Andrew say in my fucking life was uh, we were he was backing up. And yeah, we were all like out a, of the. There was like a venue staff guy. Yeah, yeah there's venue staff guy right behind him, and everyone's trying. It's the same thing. Everyone knows the answer yeah. except yeah, yeah. the guy doing the fucking job. And they're like, oh, be careful, the pole. Hey, there's a pole behind you. Careful of the pole. I said it like nine times. And Andrew leans out the window and goes, could you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to hit this pole. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. And they stopped. Yeah, it was like yeah. perfect timing. It was- He's like, hey, can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to hit this pole, dude. And we all lost it laughing so goddamn dude, hard. There's, there's so many great stories with him, man. Yeah. So many incredible. It's it's it kind of reminds me. Uh, so we um, the first time we ever did Warp Tour, um, we were in we were in a van and the AC was broken and we were just starting out and uh, we had just signed to a label. Yeah. And uh, the we were label mates with uh, We Came as Romans, and uh, they led us onto their bus, and they were so. 
kind. Oh. But I, I will never forget this. Uh, one of them told us, um, like, we were telling them that we were in, like, a really shitty van and all this. We were yeah. driving ourselves. And they were like, they, they grabbed us and were like, cherish these moments because the, those are the times you're going to be making mm-hmm. the best memories possible. And honestly, they were kind of right. All of these uh. stories are from, I mean, like, granted, it's a lot nicer. Yeah. Oh, but I have agree. so many memories. But most of these stories are from when we were like, yeah, we have $2 and we have to fix our van with yeah. guitar parts. When you said we came as Romans, you know what story immediately popped in my head? What's that? The first time we ever had a bandwagon. Oh, my God. I don't remember this. Okay. So uh, we're, we can do oh, a whole fucking oh podcast. God, no, I just remembered. <laughs> All right. So we had a bandwagon, which you're not familiar with what a bandwagon is. It's like it goes van, bandwagon, tour bus. Bandwagon is usually like the no brainer because the amount of you have to spend and whatnot. Anyways, it's basically we, an it's basically a RV mixed with the tour bus. Yeah, and you have even you have a shower. It's actually yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, but you have to hire your own driver. This is our first time with a bandwagon. We don't know where to look for drivers. Yeah. So we found somebody on and- Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> it was Facebook. We just Facebook posted, need a driver. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me up. I think we were just, at this point, it was just anyone that was willing. And I don't know exactly how the credentials broke down or how we were there like, were this, none. Is, this is our person. <laughs> but it was to be like over 25. You know what? It was a road to warp tour. Yeah. yeah and it was yeah. the first, so we had on the road to warp tour, it was, we came as Romans and we were on tour with them. They just got this nice new tour bus wrapped, wrapped, yeah. custom wrapped with all their the, album art. Yeah. All their faces on it. And so we had to park. Well, we didn't have to park. Our driver from Facebook had to park and they had to parallel park and they clearly did not know how wide our mirrors were, let alone anything. Yeah. No, it wasn't even the mirrors. It was the fucking door. Yeah, it was the door, yeah. yeah. Um, they hit their bus. Brand new wrapped bus. Yeah. As we're all arriving. So they're just getting out like, oh, nice yeah. stretch. First day of the tour. Yeah. Look at our nice, oh my God. Knocked yeah. the mirror off. Like yeah, clean dude. off. And it hit, it hit in such a way that the bandwagon has a door. To get into like the common area, the bandwagon has a door in the middle of the bandwagon. And the way that it hit their bus, we were locked into the bandwagon. Like we couldn't get out because yep. we were stuck against their mm-hmm. bus. So all we can see is like through a little crack in the window of all the We Came as Romans guys who yeah. are so nice to have They're us the on the show. They're the nicest people ever. They're so nice to even have us on the show to begin with. So you see them all come out and they're like, oh shit, like taking photos of their destroyed bus. And yeah. we're witnessing and, yeah. that. And we're witnessing that through a little crack. And we can't even like apologize or yeah, do no. anything because we're stuck in the bandwagon <laughs> just trying to be like, Hey, thanks for having yeah. us. We were just so grateful to be there, and it was our first impression of a show with them. I know. Just terrified and behind blinds. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's so many of these. That was 2013, right? 2013. 2013. I think so. That's how we started the tour. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but my God. they were really God. nice about they it. They were great. Oh, they were, they, and, they were incredibly kind about it. And they had insurance, and we had insurance. Oh, it ended up working out. Yeah, yeah. But we don't have to get boring with it. But and then shit. I called my HMO <laughs> officer. <laughs> Also, I know we brought up Andrew a time. Make sure to check out his podcast where all my friends. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. It's yeah, awesome. It's, it's so something good. that's really interesting about his podcast is he, if you've ever wanted to know about the music industry, like the like how it works and mm-hmm. how people get started in it, mm-hmm. that is such a good podcast for it. I've mm-hmm. listened to like four or five episodes like recently uh, and they're just so, he, he, there's so much good information that you yeah. can get from them. On like a lot what, of inspirational stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. what to do next about being in a band. Hell yeah. Um. Well, I actually, you know, we're we're getting towards the end. Oh, really? What we are it? moving. It's forty three minutes oh in right now. Gosh. We have so much to talk about. I know. Do we want to do videos then? Let's do. Let's see some stuff we've been liking online. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing I want, you know, what do we start? I, I want to go right to this thing that Max brought okay, up, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I was really excited oh, about. Oh my god! You want to give a quick background on this? Okay. So, um, someone sent this to me. Uh, uh, one of my mods from Twitch sent this to me, and it is. Uh, if you've ever seen Antique Roadshow, it's a show about you know people bring in these antiques and then they tell you how much money they are. So someone changed all of the captions. They made their own captions for these Antique Roadshow items. Um, so yeah, let's, let's all take right, a so look. Let's see what we got here. So the first one we have <laughs> is a picture of a guy holding... A what seems to be a coat. <laughs> coat that coat. if touched loses all he's, value. He's clearly touching. Dude, it's worth <laughs> zero no, to zero dollars. Well, he touched it. <laughs> this is the worst looking coat I've ever seen. What oh, do you think? Dude. It looks like it's made out of burlap. And honestly, the really the bad. woman, it, I'm assuming that's her. <laughs> she's upset. She's it's so her coat. Hurt. She's like, yo, dog, I told you not to touch <laughs> she it. She was about to say what it was. Yeah. And like, well, it's the coat that it touched. Well, if you look over here. Immediately yeah. it changes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, I, I love that. What else we got? Over here. 
plane from when people were smaller. <laughs> $22,000 to $30,000 in big people money. <laughs> like small people have their own money. <laughs> and the guy's hands out. It looks like he's trying to measure about how tall the people were <laughs> when they could fit in the plane. Dude. Oh. Oh, oh let's keep God. it moving here. Photographer trapped in mirror. <laughs> Dude, how long has he been in there? Who knows? I, I love it. I love 000. it because he's not even, you can't even see the entirety of this guy. Uh, the, the idea of going to an antique show oh. and being like, yes, I'd like, how much is the man trapped in the mirror? <laughs> Please, let me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore him. It's about five or six <laughs> My name is Greg. Oh, I have you, a family. If you hear my name, does it make you care more? <laughs> oh, my God. Bowls that make you laugh. But it's working. Clearly. <laughs> oh, my God. It's if you, clearly If you're working. not watching this on YouTube, you're messing up entirely. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about this that. This is amazing. All There's right. so many. These, the, the, this, this section is, is well, just fantastic. Do you have any MVPs that we should definitely- uh, The third one in this one is incredible. The third one in this one? All right. We're yeah. going to do this whole bunch right here. Paper plates made <laughs> of metal. <laughs> <laughs> the price on this is why well, what's the range about summer two thousand, summer six thousand dollars? Depends. Oh my god. Left guy's shirt and right guy's <laughs> pants. <laughs> Wait, why they're just separated? <laughs> it's amazing because that's just the most spotted outfit. And if also, you put that thing together. That's from a real episode of Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> Did they? They must. Have, you know what? It must have been that one of those two was wearing that full outfit, <laughs> and he was like, "Dude, you gotta change. What am I supposed to do? We're going in twenty minutes. Well, do, I don't know, man. Just switch with me. Just switch with me. All right. And you know what? Because it makes total sense if you switch them. Definitely. You okay. got the coat. You got the pants. Oh, it's a fit. Oh my god, I can't get that scenario out of my brain right now. <laughs> All right, um, doll that makes you bald. <laughs> He's not He's so happy upset. about it. He's so He's like, upset. This what? all could be items from that Rick and Morty episode with the the tale of horrors. Yes, <laughs> it, they're all cursed. Oh my god, it's oh, only eight hundred dollars. It's nice. It's a good deal. Have to buy me that. the worst <laughs> owl. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst owl. It's the worst owl I've ever seen. I want to know what the actual price was of this owl. Yeah, someone brought that in. Someone oh brought that God. in. Yeah, someone was like, I want to know how much this is worth. Dude, this, there, this thread is there's so many. incredible. Oh, you know, wait, let's see. Let's do, <laughs> I'm very interested in this one right here. Ah, yes. The only verified photo of Santa. <laughs> <laughs> is he holding a Coke bottle? Yeah, it's, it's the Coca-Cola <laughs> is he Santa. smoking a cigarette? What is it? Is oh, my hand? God. <laughs> Either of these things. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me that the rug... And this man are about the same price. They're about the same price. Fifty to seventy-five dollars. Oh my god, I love this. Pretty there cheap is rug. one. I don't know if I. I don't know where it is. Um, I would love to find a photo. Um, oh, this one's really good. Uh, one? The second one and that one. This one. That one. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, painting that kills you if you look at it. <laughs> now, both. if you look at them, they're trying so hard not to look at that it photo. It also looks like they're about to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> like the whole audience has been killed. Yeah. yeah. They're trying so hard not to look at oh, it. Oh, man, that's amazing. It's fantastic. So one of the mods on Twitch sent you this? Yeah. This is Maddie. fucking amazing. Shout out to Maddie. Um, this first one and that one's really good. This one? Yeah, that one. Interdimensional old lady portal. <laughs> Now, my question is, does this take you to different dimensions with old ladies, or can only old ladies use the interdimensional portal? That's a great question. Both. I have a better question. What is it supposed to actually be? I have like, no Is idea. this supposed to go on your wall? Is this someone's grandmama? Is this... Like, Their grandmama? What? Because it can't be grandma. This is like at least grandma, mama, mama, mama. That's a this, grandmama. This is an old grandma right here. And this, this, the fact, it's bothering me that this, this frame is set like a diamond. <laughs> It's so well done. It is, and it's terrifying. And is, I'm assuming it's 3D. It looks like a bulb. And yes, you could absolutely get sucked into this. That is the weirdest shit I've ever oh, seen. Dude, some God. of these things. I need to start watching the show. Well, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I haven't even watched I don't the, think uh, that's what they really are. Yeah. But these items have to be the real items. Oh, it's the real items, but they yeah. change the caption. They change the there caption. is one. I can't seem to find the photo for, for it, but it says, uh, it says, baseball bat signed by everyone alive. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just like the f I just want to see people see these items and go, oh, <laughs> this is worth at oh. least thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, it's it just if if you have a chance, I I can't remember who the original um, oh, the, the creator of the well, so they, th it's someone else, not them. It's but not them. No. Well, if we is, find it, we'll put it on the on on the tube. Yeah, shout out to them. They're very funny. Very fucking funny. All right, we got a couple. Uh, 
to TikTok YouTube. videos. Here, I right? sent in some TikTok Oh, wait, videos. this is for something else. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just go to this now? Yeah, sure. Uh, where did the, what, what, what brought this up? We were spelling something wrong, I think. Yeah, I don't remember. And also brings back how... Right, so basically what we're looking at right here is intentionally spelt incorrectly fast food chains. Mm -hmm. And I remember laughing at it so hard. Dude, my favorite one right off the bat is <laughs> McNaldo's. I like it. I like, I like the I like it. it. I, like I like the it. it. I like the it. Dude, Apple Bapples. Neighbor whore grib and bib. Uh, here, how about, how about Burger Kibg? Have it in a way. <laughs> in a way. Spubby. If frif. Tinkle outside the binkle. Taco Bell. Whatever. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Whatever this kind of humor is, yeah. that's it for me. This is it for me. Duncan. I love Taco Bell. <laughs> Duncan Dunce. Oh, America man. run no dun dun. A and A. That's the that's the A and A slogan. <laughs> Dude, we used to, we would never call any fast food place by its actual I name. No, I think that's why it resonated so much with us. Oh, yeah, we called Wendy's Wendis. Yep. And we call it like the Dis. The Dis. Yeah, the we dis. would just come up with with quick names because that was all we could eat back in the day was fast food. Didn't we call Checkers the Jewels? Yeah. The Jewels, yeah. Dude, that's a whole. Oh, it started one. with Checkers, Check Checker. Rest Juliet, <laughs> Juliet the Jewels. Yes. Yeah. And, and then Father Dad. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah Father That was Dads. McDonald's. McDonald's was Father Dad. Yeah. Uh, what I don't was even the, remember. It was uh, McDonald's. Mac Daddies. Oh, yeah. And Mc, then we didn't go Mc Dads, Dads. Yeah. Father Dads. Father yeah. Dads. Dude, that reminds me of how we used to name restaurants. We would change the names of restaurants to really fancy things, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Like, um, there's a very famous pizza show. Oh, so one of the ones is uh, Papa John's, really yeah. famous. And we would call Christian. it Father Jonathan. <laughs> Father <laughs> John Jonathan. And then there's another pizza place in Florida. I think it's other places, but yeah. it's called Hungry, Hungry Howie's. Howie's. And we called it Famished <laughs> Howard. <laughs> That sounds like a gastro pub that's like oh, 18 yeah. bucks a meal, even for dude, appetizers. Dude, the best one is uh, Pizza Hut, which <laughs> is Italian dish house, which sounds <laughs> I'd go oh, there. so much like a real fancy restaurant. They cannot be out pizza either. No, oh, or yeah. out dished. Yeah. Try to. Yeah. No, <laughs> no one don't, out dishes don't, yeah, the don't, Italian dish house. Dude, that's their slogan, right? No one out pizza's the hut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, They're like, the brand new stuffed crust pizza available now. No one out pizza's <laughs> yeah. the hut. Dude, he's like holding a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me. He's like, no one else pizza's the hot. <laughs> oh man, we tried to find this initially, and we found like one, but it wasn't the best. Yep, this yeah. one didn't make me laugh at first, and now it's making me laugh. Instead of Popeyes, it's poopies. <laughs> <laughs> Beepus is a classic. <laughs> Beepus? Uh, do you guys do you guys have Coca Cola products? Is Beepus okay? <laughs> <laughs> and for pizza, it's pista, huh? <laughs> pista, huh? It's okay. It's yeah, right. is, I, I like the other one more. The original was much better. Dude, I that like one's only it. funny. Five give. Yeah. yeah, grow up. You're not even trying. Come on. Uh, we got some. We got some TikTok whole... over here. Oh yeah, I, I sent it to. Which one do you want to do first? Either or. Doesn't Almost matter. got his arm broke off, or <laughs> um, inadequate. Uh, do the almost got his arm. Broke All right, cool. We start with this. One. Nobody gets almost got his arm. Oh, so food from humans. No, I'm straight on the cornbread, man. Watch out, man. Man, that ain't cornbread. Man, <laughs> oh, <my God>! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that guy's whole TikTok. <laughs> Wait, wait, how did he not get stabbed? No, I'm straight on the corner. He's got horns. Right now, I don't know. Man, man, that ain't cornbread. <laughs> Dude, his arm has to be broken. No, Dude. he's fine. Oh, my God. Dude. They're just laughing their asses off. Dude, the whole thing about uh, that guy's uh, Puppy TikTok long is, he, is he does, he just does audio. Uh, he just does voiceovers over... Uh, um, That's fucking animals, incredible. and he has one about. There's one that is like shearing a sheep, and he's like grabbing. He's like, "You gonna do this in front of all my friends? Like, <laughs> come on, man, don't even cool. Get your hand off my mouth, <laughs> dude. It's so funny. Oh my uh, god. The other one I sent in too. I'm a big Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe fan. And okay. I, I found this, and it was just came up with my for you page, and it's so goddamn funny. Let's so check it out. Can you? Can you do this? Can you? You're not there at all. Come on. We're doing the same thing, Jake. <laughs> yeah, I've appeared naked on a Broadway stage. I have kissed Emma Watson. I'm the most famous person you've ever been near. For f sake, Jake, you money. So, I want to know the backstory. So, do they know each other? He's out no. doing them. So, yeah. the, I guess I should have said the backstory first. Uh, so, basically, this is from a skit that uh, Daniel Radcliffe did. Knew he's basically saying that he's like so famous that he has to hire this guy to humble him. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's watch it again now that we. All right, all right. This. He hires this guy to humble him. Come on. We're doing the same thing, Jake. <laughs> yeah, I've so been naked on a Broadway stage. I have kissed Emma Watson. 
I'm the most famous person you've ever been near. <laughs> And he's like not even doing anything that impressive. He's like shittily juggling. He brought juggling and splits to the table. Yeah. Barely could split. And then the other one, he's just like. What is the other one? Dude, he's, he's just doing, dancing. He's just dancing. dancing. Oh, my oh my God. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Dude. All right, Zach. I, I think it's, you, want, you want to play us out? Oh. Am I doing the playouts? I think maybe? we should start doing playouts. Okay, uh, here we go. This is the end of the podcast, episode two. I think it was probably worse than the first one, right? I bum, feel really good. Bum, bum, <laughs> to listen to that, guys, bum, it's been a very huge success. Bum, bum, Thank everybody bum, so much. Thanks bum, for being a part of Talk It Off, episode bum, two. We're having a blast, bum, and we will see you next time. Bum, bum, or are we not doing the... Wait, what did we do last time? We did the same thing as we did in the beginning. Keep the music going. Bum, Let's keep it go- Okay, okay. Bum, uh, wait, did I say the Talk It Off thing? Yeah, oh yeah. Bum, oh, thank you so much for listening to Talk It Off Podcast. Bum, 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 podcast.